Welcome back to another GIMP tutorial. Today we are working on a double exposure effect, which is a fun one that I, I have been playing with and really enjoy. So if you'd like to follow along with me with the actual images I'm using, I'll put those in the link. You'll need the link of the model and these uh, this forest in the background. Um, so I'll go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to go File, Open, and I'll find my models uh, picture first and open that up and what we're going to want to do is separate this background um, so I need to go over here to my layers window um, I'll right click and say add an alpha channel um, so we're going to want to get rid of this background and there's a lot of ways you could find tutorials on just how to get rid of background because depending on the complexity it can be uh, very difficult. Um, this one is uh, on a medium level. And so I'm going to use uh, this Select by Color tool. And when I double click on it, it will give us options to change um, things over here. And so uh, typically, it's on Composite as the default. I am going to go down to LCH Hue. And I'm going to change the sensitivity on the threshold to a 23. Um, and when I click that, you will notice it does a pretty good job of finding our model's outline. And so I'll simply press delete. And there we are. We have our model um, uh, without the background. So the next step, we'll go to our layers window. We are going to add another layer. Um, we want to fill with white. Uh, typically, it will default to transparent, but we want to do white for this. Um, I will close the eyeball on the models layer and we'll go to this white layer and simply press delete on my keyboard uh, and actually I had selected the invert so if yours did that you want to select the invert we want to punch out the model herself so um, now you can see I have my model punched out with a white background around it all right we're moving right along. I'm going to go File, Open as Layer, and we're going to find that image of a forest or the leaves is what it was defaulted as uh, the name of it. And you'll notice right away that it is not the correct sizing, and I still have my glowing marching ants selected. So I need to go Control Shift A. Um, that deselects everything. Um, and with this leaves, uh, layer, I need to uh, resize it. So over here in our tools we have our scaling tool and I will click on our leaves picture. Um, very important to note this, this this chain right here is unlinked which would mean that I could uh, it, won't, it won't keep the perspective. I could pull it up and down um, and stretch it any which way I want. If I had the, it linked uh, when I pull one way or another, it keeps the perspective the same as the original. Um, for, the, for this, I don't feel the perspective is necessary. And I'm actually going to make mine a little larger than my picture because I know I'm going to try to adjust and move things around later. So um, you can always change that la later if you didn't do it correctly. But I'm going to scale that. I'm actually going to also pull this layer down to the bottom. Let's see if I can pull that down to the bottom. It is not wanting to pull down, so I'll just use the, the arrows down here. Um, <clears throat> so here's where we're at. Um, and I am going to simply turn on the layer of my model again. And what we're going to want to do, I actually need to click on this layer. I'm going to change the mode to multiply. And you'll notice when I do this, uh, we start seeing uh, our picture through it. Um, sometimes it looks great, um, and, but I sometimes like to play with the coloring. And so I'll click on this. I might go to colors. Um, I'll go ahead and go to uh, curves, and I'll just pull this, and you can see um, what it does there in the background. And depending on how uh, vivid or what what you want to do, you'll want to play with that. So I'm going to make it pretty vivid and I'll, I'll go ahead and press OK. So at this point, um, it's also nice to go up to this 
upper layer, which is our white layer, and turn the opacity down. We want to maybe allow some of the original picture of the leaves to see through. And you, you can go ahead and turn it down as much as you want um, to get the effect that you need. And so there you go. Um, that's the, the basics of a double exposure. Some people like to uh, desaturate or make it more of a black and white. So I could go um, and do that. I could click on that layer and say colors, desaturate and you'll notice it gives a slightly different effect. Um, uh, some people might even want, if, if, you didn't, if you felt that some of the branches or whatnot were um, covering up some main features of the, whatever you have in the foreground, uh, you might want to move those around. So I'm going to click on the leaves, the lower layer, and I will use my movement tool. And um, one thing that I'll notice is that it's going to probably move my model instead of the leaves. And it does. So how I get rid of or fix that is I just close the eyeball on the model, and then I can move my leaves around. And so I'm going to try to make it so there's no leaves on her nose or mouth, um, but yet I still kind of like this branch going through the through the hair there. Turn it back on. If so you think that looks good, um, then you're all done except for exporting it. So I, I always encourage. Make sure you export as a JPEG at the end. Give it a nice name. Uh, I'll just give it double exposure. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that uh, you can try it with some of your own pictures and photographs and have as much success as we had here today. All right, good luck.